What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Risa, coming to you. I'm just cooking today, y'all. We're doing curry chicken today. Nothing special. On this, he saved me Saturday. You know, um, this is just sharing with you guys what we are going to eat today. Um, you guys said it doesn't matter how many times I cook it. Y'all just like to see me cook. So, hey, I'm here to to give you a little bit of that today. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank y'all for watching. All my all my rider dies, my boo babies. Hugs and kisses. If you are a ride or die, sugar baby, put it down below for me, okay? So this is spur the moment. I did marinate this uh, curry chicken. Tell you the truth, I hardly ever do that. But I'm just going to let it cook low and slow. And we're going to eat and have us a good time. So, this should be good and ready by 3 o'clock. Not that it takes that long, but I'm going to let it cook that long. Let all the seasonings come together. So, in my pan so far, I got one large onion, a half of a red bell pepper, a piece of a green bell pepper. I have some more that I'm going to, that I'm going to add, but I'm going to put some in the um, food processor because I like to um, cover my chicken in the pureed onion and bell pepper and garlic. So we're going to throw a little orange pepper over in there. I know y'all might not be able to see me chopping, but I'm going to raise y'all up just a little bit. Hopefully y'all won't fall. This thing is real hard. So here's our chicken. Here's our pan. I'll pan y'all back down in a minute. Let me slide this out the way. Okay, we got us some... I got some stuff already pureed right here. So I'm going to add a little bit of that, but I'm going to do some fresh. And this has a little bit of celery. Celery, onion, bell pepper, and garlic. Ooh, that smells good. So I'm going to puree it up puree up some more and add it to my jar. Okay. So we got that going. Let's go ahead and get some of this cut so we can get it in our processor. Might as well go ahead and make me a little a extra stash while I'm at it. Right? Ooh, that smells good. So what I'm going to do now, while I'm pulsing this, I'm going to add some of my Indian curry. And I got this from Rose. And that's what it's in say on the pack. Indian curry. So I'm, this is what I call a tablespoon. It's not a loose soup the little cereal spoon the little teaspoon is that next one so we're going to sprinkle this around in here i'm going to do two of those now i'm going to add some more in a little bit i'm going to add a little bit of this ultra rios chicken seasoning and i'm going to use a little plastic spoon for that so this is probably about a teaspoon a little bit of that Okay. And I got some Caribbean hot curry powder. Okay. I'm 
I got some chicken bouillon. Okay, got that going in there. All right, so let's put our, our stuff in our processor. Here's our bell pepper, the green bell pepper. A little bit at a time, so I can get a little bit of everything in here. Let's do some of our onion. Do a little bit of this. Push it down in there. Add a little bit of this. Okay. Last thing we're gonna add is our garlic. And I got some garlic in the bag. I gotta give me a big bucket of it. I like the whole garlic. I don't like to do uh, the minced garlic. They be putting all kind of stuff in it to preserve it. I don't want that. Give me the already peeled. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this pulsed up, and I have it on chop. I got this little chopper from Walmart. I don't even remember how much I paid for it. I know it was under $20. One of my sugar babies told me about it. Okay. Let's get this going. Ah, go wash your hands. Y'all hear that coming together? Let me get a wooden spoon. That smell good. Wow. I'll let that keep going. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. Because I'm gonna add my chicken in just a little bit. So this goes in the garbage garbage pan. Got the rest of my onion and my bell peppers. I may not need to add any more bell peppers. Put these aside and put them in a Ziploc bag. But I am going to use this onion. I'm going to leave that set aside. Okay. Let this heat up some more. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw my chicken in. So let me slide this over. Now I know y'all say we're supposed to marinate this overnight, but I, I didn't do it. I didn't plan ahead. This was last minute. Get some of these big pieces down here. Turn it back up. Okay. 
So what I'm going to do is season in layers, okay? A little bit of Indian curry. A little bit of, woo, almost got it. Meat seasoning. A little bit of chicken seasoning by Ocho Rios. Okay. And I like to use oxtail seasoning in my curry. And the hot curry. Okay, next layer going on, lay the chicken down on there, don't want this to burn, I am going to pour a little bit of uh, water in the bottom, because this pan is, is not real thick on the bottom. That's because I don't want my veggies and my seasonings to scorch on the bottom. So that can start steaming it from the bottom. Okay. We'll go ahead and get some of these in here. Some of these thighs. Some of these drumsticks. on that bad boy. He got to come out of there. I think I'm going to um, leave the other ones. Let me get my scissors. Back up, son. Yeah, I'm going to make rice. My baby, make sure everybody get what they need. <laughs> he said, don't I want to make rice with it? No. I said, don't you want to make fried chicken? Oh, fried chicken? Yeah. I didn't say rice. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I misheard you. Oh. Spicy. Okay. Wash my hands. Those drumsticks that I had left in the bowl will be for they will be for to be fried. Even though I already have some. We can add those three to the mix. It's hot. Okay. So now I'm going to pan y'all down since I'm not chopping anything. Let y'all see what's going on in this pot. Okay. So this is my last layer. All right. So we're going to go ahead and sprinkle some of my puree goodness on top of here. Okay. 
Okay, we got that. Chicken seasoning. Meat seasoning. Dang, they smell good. Oxtail seasoning. Hot curry. A little bit of base. We got that train of rolling. Let's get our onions. Chuck those over in there. And cut up one more of each. It's all going to cook down, y'all, too. I mean, it's going to really dissipate, but I just like to layer. I don't know. I, I like to see it. Ooh. Just got to get it in there. Just got to get it in there. There we go. Now, what else I add? is let me find my sriracha sauce let's see if they put it in the refrigerator Sriracha sauce. Okay. I got some salsa. little bit of my Robert Ross chop. <clears throat> it's good and thick. It don't take much of this. Just enough kind of give it a little bit of take away some of all the tartness. That strong flavor in that um, Curry powder. And that's it, y'all. Now we're gonna let this cook. Yes, ma'am. Don't that look good? Ooh. I'm gonna let it cook for a few minutes and then I, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna stir it up um, to get all of that stuff worked over in there. See y'all in a little while.